Hello, this is a quick video on how to plug your tire if you find a nail or something else penetrating your tire. Now this is handy if you don't have access to a tire shop or you don't have a tire machine where you can do a more extensive repair. First thing you want to do is get yourself a tire repair kit. These usually come with all the tools that you need including rubber cement. I like to get a separate thing of rubber cement because the tools usually dry up after you use them the first time. Next, you're going to remove the nail or whatever is in the tire with a pair of pliers or cutters as you see in the picture. After that, you're going to take this tool and you're going to put it in the hole where the nail was. Now what you want to do is you want to move up and down reaming out the hole just so it's clear so when you put the plug in it'll go in all the way. Usually you can tell if it's in all the way if you hear a little bit of air leaking as you move it. The next thing you're going to do is take this tool and you're going to slide the plug insert into that hole, that threaded hole. And you want to put the insert right into the middle of that. Next, you are going to cover the plug with rubber cement from end to end all around. Make sure it's nice and covered. And that's going to activate the plug itself. Now it's time to put the plug into the tire. Now when inserting the plug, you do not want to twist or turn. You want to go directly into the tire and you want to go down to where both ends of the plug are sticking out just by a little bit. Now once that's done, you want to do a quick uh, 90 degree turn on the tool and pull out the tool. From there, the plug should be in the tire and the tool out. Now some people say, okay, now your tire is plugged, you can move on. I like to trim the ends just to clean it up. And after the plug is trimmed, you want to wait at least 15 minutes or whatever the cure time is for the rubber cement that you're using. Then you want to make sure your air pressure is good. So if you don't have an air compressor, go to a shop that has a compressor, set your tire pressures, and you should be good to go. If you like more videos like this, let me know. Give me a like and subscribe and ask me what you need to know. And as always, stay tuned and thanks for watching.